Let's see if we can divide 30.24, divide it by 0.42, and try pausing the video and, and, and solving it on your own before I work through it. So there's a couple of ways you could think about it. We could just write it as 30.24 divided by, divided by 0.42, 0.42. But what do you do now? Well, the important realization is, is when you're doing a division problem like this, it, you will get the same answer as long as you multiply or divide both numbers by the same thing. And to understand that, we could rewrite that, uh, rewrite this division as 30.42 over, over 0.42. We could write it really as a fraction. And we know that when we have a fraction like this, we're not changing the value of the fraction if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same quantity. And so what could we multiply this denominator by to make it a whole number? Well, we could multiply it by 10 and then another 10. So we could multiply it by 100. So let's do that. If we multiply the denominator by 100, in order to not change the value of this, we also need to multiply the numerator by 100. We're essentially multiplying by 100 over 100, which is just one. So we're not changing the value of this fraction, or of you could view this of this 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 division problem. So this is going to be 30.42 times 100. Move the decimal two places to the right. Gets you 3,042. The decimal is now there if you care about it. And 0.42 times 100. Once again, move the decimal one two places to the right. It is now 42. So this is going to be the exact same thing as 3,042 divided by 42. So once again, we can move the decimal here, two to the right. And if we move that two to the right, then we can move this two to the right. Or we need to move this two to the right. And so this is where now the decimal place is. You could view this as 3,024. Let me clear that. 3,024 divided by 42. Let me clear that. And we know how to tackle that already, but let's do it step by step. How many times does 42 go into 3? Well, it doesn't go at all, so we can move on to 30. How many times does 42 go into 30? Well, it doesn't go into 30, so we can move on to 302. How many times does 42 go into 302? And like always, this is a bit of an art when you're dividing by a two-digit or a multi-digit number, I should say. So let's think about it a little bit. So this is roughly 40. This is roughly 300. So how many times does 40 go into 300? Well, how many times does 4 go into 30? Well, it looks like it's about 7 times. So I'm going to try out a 7, see if it works out. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 4 is 28. Plus 1 is 29. And now I can subtract to do a little bit of regrouping here. So let's see. If I regroup, I take 100 from the 300. That becomes a 200. Then our zero tens, now I have 10 tens. But I'm going to need one of those 10 tens. So that's going to be 9 tens. And I'm going to give it over here. And so this is going to be a 12. 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4 is 8. 9 minus 9 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. So what I got left over is less than 42. So I know that 7 is the right number. I want to go as many times as possible into 302 without going over. So now let's bring down, now let's bring down the next digit. Let's bring down this 4 over here. How many times does 42 go into 84? Well, that jumps out at you, or hopefully it jumps, or it starts to, it, four, it goes two times. 2 times 2 is 4. Two, ti 2 times 4 is 8. You subtract, and we have no remainder. So 3,042 divided by 42 is the same thing as 30.42 divided by 0.42, and it's going to be equal to 72. It's going to be equal to 72. Actually, I didn't have to copy and paste that. I'll just write this. This is equal to 72. This is equal to 72. 72, just like that. 